The storm damage in these small town communities is nothing short of catastrophic. It's nothing like anything we've ever seen or dealt with. I was on my way home from work. I got about two blocks from the house and the tornado kind of pushed me off the side of the road. I started off walking, never got to the house. And this is what's left of my house. The, uh, I'm told that the tornado picked up the trailer, twisted it, and the front end of the trailer slammed into the tree that used to be out front. And then the second, it tore it in half, and then the second part of the trailer just imploded. So if I would have been home, I probably would have been dead. This is 20 plus years of my life surrounding this area. And it's just gone, it's just gone. The support and the love that we've got here is just unreal. Dawson has really, it's, it's, it's my hometown. And uh, it's just shocking. I've never, I'll be 52 years old next month and I've never ever seen anything like this in Dawson. Is that for your grandkids, your kids? Yes, sir. It is. Uh, right now we're staying in a hotel in Madisonville. Uh, but it's just overwhelming just to think about we have no place really to call home right now. It's a small town community and for all intents and purposes they they've lost their town. They've they've lost most of everything they had. You know, not just houses, businesses, you know, the ballparks are gone. It's there's just very little left to look at other than debris. It just, I mean, it's just, it's, it's, words can't describe it, man. I mean, you know, I was one of the first ones on scene here trying to get back to check on my neighbor and my house and, you know, friends and family all around here. I mean, every road just, I mean, a complete house is just blown into a pile in the middle of the road. And it's, you know, it's still pouring down rain. Winds are still blowing. The electric lines were all down, sparking. I mean, gas lines where houses used to be the gas lines got broke and it was just you know you could just hear the gas running wide open and it just smelled like natural gas like crazy around here you could hear people screaming for help i mean just people crying people people walking out of piles of debris and not knowing where they're at lived here their whole life and not know what road they're on i mean it, it was just surreal Right now we have roughly, um, there's probably 100 total volunteers here right now. Um, we're doing a line search all the way through a town, block by block, lifting everything we can lift, sheet metal, to try to locate those people that are still missing and unaccounted for. We're, we're praying and hoping and wishing and, you know, that those rescues are still there and that it's just not a complete recovery mission at this point.